Hello everyone, my name is Michael Torrio and I am an Associate Specialist Solutions Architect here at AWS. Today we'll be looking at a new integration between Amazon CloudWatch and Amazon OpenSearch Service that makes your life a whole lot easier when it comes to log analysis. If you've ever struggled with managing ETL pipelines or for better visualization of your log data, this video is for you. So let's get started. Let's start with the big news. AWS has launched a zero ETL integration between Amazon CloudWatch and Amazon OpenSearch Service. But what does this actually mean for you? First, if you're a CloudWatch Logs user, you now have access to two additional query languages, OpenSearch SQL and OpenSearch PPL. Now this is huge because you can write complex queries using familiar SQL syntax or use PPL right within CloudWatch Logs Insights with no additional setup required but it gets better. You also get access to pre-built dashboards for services like Amazon PPC, AWS CloudTrail, and AWS WAF. Imagine getting instant visibility into your web application firewall metrics, API activity, and network traffic patterns without having to build these dashboards from scratch. Let me show you how easy it is to get started with this new integration. From the AWS console homepage, I'll navigate to CloudWatch, and on the left-hand side, I'll go to Logs Insights under Logs, and I'll make this bigger. And now under Logs Insights, we can see that there are two new languages you can choose from, OpenSearch PPL and OpenSearch SQL that we talked about prior. Now for the log group name, I'll select the one that I created for this demo called Demo Log Group. And we can run a query to see what the output looks like. And this log group looks specifically at VPC flow logs. Now, instead of Log Insights QL, I'll select OpenSearch PPL, and then I'll select Demo Log Group again. And for the query, I'll select Saved and Sample Queries here on the right. And there are over 100 sample queries available to choose from for both PPL and SQL. And under VPC Flow Logs, I'll select the first uh, sample query here. I'll hit Apply, and then I'll make this bigger, and then we can run the query. And in a few moments, we can see the output of this query here at the bottom. Now, what if we want to build a pre-built dashboard? Just head to the Analyze with OpenSearch tab, and you'll see that before we can create a dashboard, we'll need to navigate to Settings to configure the OpenSearch integration. Now here, we can give the integration a name. And I'll leave the KMS key ARN blank for this demo. And I'll leave the data retention set to the default of one day. But under IAM permission, I'll elect to create a new role. And then for this demo, I'll set IAM roles and users who can view dashboards to everyone in this account. I'll confirm the integration setup. And now once this is complete, we can create a pre-built dashboard. All right, it took a couple minutes, but now the OpenSearch integration was successfully created. So if I go back to Logs Insights under Logs here on the left and click on the Analyze with OpenSearch tab, and I'll make this bigger, now we can click on Create Dashboard. You can see that there are three dashboard types to choose from, VPC Flow Logs, CloudTrail Logs, and WAF Logs. And I'll leave it set to VPC Flow Logs for this demo, and I'll give it a name. Now I'll scroll to the bottom and I'll leave the data synchronization frequency set to every 15 minutes, but you can choose to set it to every five, depending on the use case. And then I'll select demo log group again. And then I'll hit create dashboard. All right, now it says that our demo dashboard was created successfully and it took a couple minutes to load, but now I have a pre-built VPC flow logs dashboard directly in CloudWatch. Now let's look at it from the Amazon OpenSearch service side. If you're an OpenSearch user, you can now analyze CloudWatch logs directly without any ETL processes. Here's how. First, I'll navigate to Amazon OpenSearch service, and on the left under Central Management, I'll click on Connected Data Sources. From here, I'll click on Connect New Data Source, and I'll leave it set to CloudWatch Logs, 
hit next, and now we can create the data connection. I'll give it a name. And I'll scroll down and elect to create a new role. I'll also leave the defaults of selecting all log groups from CloudWatch, and I'll hit next. Now here we can see how it works, the collection that it creates, and as well as the open search application name. Here we can hit next and then connect. And after a few minutes, we'll see that we have an Amazon open search serverless collection, application, and workspace that we can access. Now that the data connection has been successfully created, we can start exploring logs. And I'll choose to do so without indexing data, which is the option here on the left. As I click that button, we can see the application being opened up. Now that the application is opened up, I'll click on select data and then view all available data. I'll click on CloudWatch logs and then click on the data connection that we created earlier. And then for the log group, I'll select the one that we've been using for this demo, which is demo log group. And then I'll hit next. And then for the time field, I'll leave it to timestamp and the language set to open search SQL. I'll click on select data. And within a few seconds, I now have access to my CloudWatch log group consisting of VPC flow logs directly in Amazon Open Search Service. Now this integration has several key benefits, such as no more duplicate data storage, reduced operational costs, simplified log management, better visualization capabilities, and real-time data analysis. So whether you're troubleshooting application issues, monitoring security events, or analyzing network traffic, this integration makes your job a whole lot easier and more efficient. And there you have it. This new integration is available in all AWS regions where Amazon OpenSearch Service Direct Query is supported. And for specific pricing details, make sure to check out the pricing pages for both Amazon CloudWatch and Amazon OpenSearch Service. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more Amazon OpenSearch Service content.